The Hawaii Undersea Research Lab has two of only a handful of deep diving submersibles in the world. The subs were built in the 70s during the Cold War. But they've recently been refitted and equipped to film in HD. Usually, the subs dive solo, so one is always available to assist in an emergency. This time, both will be in the water together. If something goes wrong, the nearest rescue vehicles would never get to them in time. We're pretty much going to outer space, and in a way, it's more dangerous than outer space. If you get a leak in a spacesuit, you can always take a piece of tape and seal it. But a leak in a submarine under the great pressures of the abyss is a whole different ballgame. Any of the housings protecting our cameras or lights fail, they go off like a bomb, causing an instant implosion that sends off a shock wave, damaging everything around it. Pisces 5, Pisces 4 coming out now. Even a pinprick leak would be a disaster. So every time we do a dive, Every system is being tested by this tremendous pressure that's trying to get into any little weak spot on the subs. The sub is a framework of components, flotation, and fiberglass panels, all bolted to a seven-foot steel sphere. The steel is an inch thick, but pierced by 28 holes for cables. If any one of them fail, they'd create a 3,000 pound per square inch water jet. Water at that pressure is so destructive, it's used to slice through metal. At depth, it would carve a sub to pieces. Service tracking range 300 meters. Tracking service rod 300 meters. IC5 tracking sounding 402 meters. Each year after their annual overhaul, the subs must be recertified. The pilots take them down on their first dive of the season. As far as I'm concerned, it's the most dangerous dive of the year. 